Hello again, Mark W. here. And Rabab. Hello, Rabab. We are continuing our adventure into Buffalo Castle today. Uh, this is part two, uh, hopefully the last part, but we'll see. And um, please stop shaking the table. Um, we um, we're gonna do a quick recap. Let's see what we got here. We have our character, our brave hero, Dwarvo the second. He is a dwarf, hence the name Dwarvo. He is a warrior. He is level two. We cheated a little. You're not supposed to have level two guys in this adventure, but whatever. <laughs> He's a new character, so I figure why not. He's got two butcher knives because that's what Rob Bob here likes to wield. Um, that's the gist of this character. Our talents are dodge and competitive drinking. We have accumulated 75 adventure points. We have 89 gold. And uh, here are attributes. Um, one thing worth noting is um, Mr. Rob Bob, I did not remember this rule last time because we are a warrior we get the warrior combat bonus oh. which is an extra die roll in combat per level per weapon since we are level two please don't mind the baby in the background guys that's going to happen the whole time probably so that's just life with us lately yeah so we'll have to deal <laughs> four foot eight 280 pounds by the way but anyway level two means you get two bonus dice as a warrior per weapon and we happen to be wielding two weapons so that is four bonus dice which would probably make the previous battles that we've had much yeah. easier but we'll just have to remember from now on um here's our map if you can read this, uh, we had just been reviewing our situation in the game, and it turns out Rob Bob here drew this room here as roommate, which is where we are on the east side when it was supposed to be the west side. But we're managing; it's okay. Uh, what we had just done is um, we opened. We were on twenty-three C, and roommate. We opened a treasure chest, and uh, what did we get? I don't remember. Uh, we got something. Got some gold, I think. Probably. I think we got 50 gold. That was the last thing in our last video. We got 50 gold. I changed this 3 to an 8, basically. All right, Mr. Rob Bob, let's proceed. Um, you're entered room H. Blah, blah, blah. They've already opened the chest, so it's gone now. You have to pretend that sentence is no longer there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have to leave by the west door or by the east door. Well, I came from the west, or the east, I mean. Okay. So I think. <laughs> no, I came from the west, I mean. Hold on, let's look. You Did were... You... Look, this door... Yeah, so I'm gonna go... You came in, you went uh, west, east. which is, means you so came... west. Sure. <laughs> to the new room. Okay, Mr. Cartographer, please draw. Oh, let me tell you what happened. So, then we can I'm not sure if 17B. Who's this character? Yeah. Alright, you are standing in a corridor that runs north and south. There is a door on the east wall, which is where you just came. Okay. If you wish to go through the door, go to 23C, we are already there. If you wish to go north, go to 14B. If you wish to go south, go to 16A. Okay, I'm going north. North to 14B. <clears throat> you have walked down a short corridor and are at a T intersection. If you wish to go west, go to 22A. If you wish to go north, go to 3C. If you wish to go south, go to 17B. So it's a T intersection that goes west, Wait. north, and south. Do you understand what that means? Yes. I want to go... Let's see what you I think I want to go east. That's probably... Hold on. You didn't draw it. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Was it going north and south? Okay. This corridor was going north and south. Yeah. And then it went up. Or it went north. And there's a T intersection. You can go west, north, or south. Okay, so. Yeah, it doesn't connect to the line. Sorry. All right. So while you do that, did you say you wanted to go um, west? Uh, yeah, I guess. Twenty-two A. You instantly died. You walked down a short corridor. And now you're at a four-way intersection. <clears throat> Roll a die to see if a wandering monster appears. Six means yes. Well, I'm just draw this. Draw on the map. Again, we're sitting... I remember from last time I realized we were sitting in the wrong 
location because while you're, while you're writing with your left hand, your hand kind of blocks. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, lefty. Yeah, because you're a lefty. It's a four. four so no, no wandering monsters. Turn. Okay. Uh, where were we? <laughs> I keep doing this. Four. Here we go. 22A. 22A. If you wish to go south, go to 26A. If you wish to go west, go to 9A. If you wish to go north, go to 6A. And if you wish to go east, go to 14B. Okay, I'm going to go north. North we shall go, 6A. You have entered room number 13. There is nothing in the room but a chest. You gotta love these rooms with just like, chests sitting there. Possible traps, but... You may open the chest. Okay, I'm going to... Go to 23A. Open the chest. Okay. I have a feeling Write the room number, please. Wait, hold on, sorry. I always forget this. Room 13. You know that's a lucky number, so this chest has to be totally kosher, right? I'll use my gold die. Just 23. Yeah, that's it's towards the end of the book. It's your lucky die. We have lucky saving roll dice here. Well, I might use it. Roll one die. Okay. You may open this chest only once. Okay. Okay, See roll. what happens. See what happens. Three, what happens? Three. There is nothing in the chest, and it slams shut on your fingers. Take one hit. So, does that mean, like, roll it, or just take one? Let's take one damage. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, continue our decrementing of constitution. Fifteen left is still decent. I was reading the one below it, and it said, like, a thousand, mm -hmm. a, ru a ruby worth, like, a thousand gold. Oh, yes. I wish I got But it is cursed, and every monster, uh, we won't read it. Oh, it's good to have uh, surprises. Save, save as many surprises as you can. Oh, I almost said rupee. Hmm? I almost said rupee. Rupee? Yeah. Ah. Like Zelda. Like in Zelda. Now go back to 6A. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, you can't open the chest again, so you can leave by the south door, or you may leave by the north door. Oh, the north door. Uh, go north again, I guess. 27A. <clears throat> We went into the exact same room. No, 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 I remember this one. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Oh, this is the box room? <coughs> this is the box room. Oh, I remember this. You do? Oh, yeah. That's right, you played this before. Okay, you've entered room number 14. Please draw it. Oh, You're in a bank vault. There are 25 safety deposit boxes in this vault. You may pick one box and open it. Okay, um... Then you must exit the dungeon. Oh. That's the end of our adventure. It's like, uh, yeah, I didn't like that one little aspect of this because, like, you have to exit after them. I guess I'm going south. I don't want to do this. I'm okay, you want to undo it? All right, so I'll explore a little more. We're I not, go. we're not doing that. We're undoing. I'm gonna go. Even though I said we're not cheating anymore, but we can cheat for that just so we have a video. What does it say? You have to open it. Uh, you may pick one. Okay, so I don't think we have so, okay, so we'll say you go back. Fine. Where was fourteen though? Was it six A? Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, 14 was the one we just drew. 13 is what we're looking for. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So, you're going to go back south. 22A. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we got to roll for a wandering monster again. Sorry. Oh, you could just leave me enter until I find a monster if I wanted to. Alright. Oh, monster. You got a wandering right, monster. I got a roll. I give one you one second. What is it? Right? Was it two dice? Um, it's a saving roll usually, so. It's not a saving roll. Uh, okay, roll two dice and look at the table, basically. Uh, and you, you should be okay, or better than last time, now that we remembered your... Um, two extra dice. Rule. Oh, four extra dice. Four extra dice. Oh, four of rank. Four. At your level two. Oh, okay, yes. And you got two weapons. Okay, so... What do we got here? One six. and... Six. God, that's six. It's a giant snake, and he looks like this. I guess he's a rattlesnake. It looks like a rattlesnake. Monster rating of 16. What okay. a wimp. If it gets any hits on you, though, roll a die to see if it is poisonous. I roll a 4, 5, or 6 if it is poisonous. If you take any hits from the snake but still survive, <coughs> your strength is cut, <coughs> excuse me, is cut in half for Ooh. the rest of the time you're in the dungeon. That's not good. Snakes are not affected by poison. At least this one isn't. After you kill a snake, roll one die to see if its mate comes looking for you. If you roll a one, you must fight another snake. Treasure one to three. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. 
So let's put on our <coughs> battle gear, which means turning the paper over. Um, so it is MR like 14 or something? Uh, or it? it's 16, so 16. it should be a pushover for you, Snake. I have like M six. Uh, uh, you have two per weapon, I believe, which is four, plus your warrior bonus, which is two per weapon again, so you have eight dice. Oh, wow. Plus your adds, which you're, you're going to totally destroy this thing. So this thing has two dice plus eight. The, to anyone watching, I probably explained this last time, with the MR, you basically divide by ten and add one for the number of dice. Basically this. Okay. One plus one or two dice. And the MR in half is your uh, adds for the monster and the MR itself is the number of hits it takes so it's like the constitution basically but anyway uh, you're gonna kill this thing we're pretty sure let's see if you can do it in one turn okay um I need some more dice oh uh, where are all the green ones um, we left them out and they apparently have this here they are yeah. oh, okay. and I will use these lovely purple and uh, gold dice or Mr. Snakey Pants. That's what she okay. called. Let's call him that. Oh, yeah, Mr. Snakey Pants. Mr. Snakey Pants. His name is now. That's, that, that is now his name. Snakey Pants. We can make light of him since he's so weak compared to you. <laughs> there you go. Alright, he has no spite, which is probably your worst concern. And you roll all that stuff. You figure that out. Oh, oh. What do we have here? Seven? Six, Plus eight. the eight is fifteen. Twenty. Snake. Twenty-six. What'd you get? Twenty-six plus my ads. <laughs> Not sure what my uh, ads are. Okay, I think you're beating the crap out of this thing. So your ads are... Why are you trying to... Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see, your ads are... They are 15 plus for the weapons. Altogether, 19. And what is your roll again? 26, which makes it a 35. No. Uh, 26. 20. Plus, oh, 19, sorry. Uh, 45. Okay. Yeah. 45. So you have hit it for... A lot. 30. No spite at all. And it is now at MR negative 14. Oh, man. I'm not Mr. Sure Snakey to Pants. No more Mr. Snakey Pants. Let's see if Mrs. Snakey Pants comes. Okay, Mrs. Snakey Pants. Roll the dice. Roll the one. Mrs. Snakey Pants comes. Okay. I don't think so. No, Mrs. Snakey Pants. Treasure on a roll of one to three. Because Mr. Snakey Pants might be loaded. He just probably has some money in his pockets. That was a five. Alright. Um, so, no treasure, sorry. But we get some experience. Um, so let's see how much. The reason why I normally just get the, the MR worth, but... Sometimes it's extra. Sometimes it's extra, and it does have a risk of poison, so I thought there might be extra. But... It doesn't say that, so we'll go with the 16, which takes you to 91. Okay. All right, that okay. was fun and easy. Next thing. Let's go back to where we were. Where did we go again? Oh, yeah, we're in the hallway. We are in um, this one here. Okay, south, west, north, or east. Mm. You're in this one, right? Yes, so I want to go west. West to 9A. You have entered room number 18. Please write, Let me down. write that down. This is a wandering monster room. There's not a chance of a wandering monster, there's just a wandering monster. 18. Maybe we'll find Mr. Snakey Pants' brother since his wife wasn't around. Maybe. Alright, let's go to the back. I'll roll and see what it is. I got two, I two dice. Two regular dice. No, that's not my roll, that's not my <laughs> I just dropped them. Alright, fine. Are you gonna roll them? I'm waiting until we get to the table. Uh oh. Hold on. Uh oh. Two, I that's remember that. Giant. Yeah, that's you got that all out last time you played. Okay, so you can either, like, it's. It's a weird combat, I think. It is a weird combat. In other words, there's some special stuff you can do. All right, monster rating of 80. E That's going to kill you unless you can use this special thing. Special combat rules. You may try to dodge him. Make a first level saving roll on dexterity. Each time you make your saving roll successfully, he misses you, and you get to roll your combat dice and get that many hits on him. 
If you miss your saving roll, he smashes you flat. And you're dead. This is my Anytime you feel you have reduced his rating to a number low enough to fight, you may switch to regular combat. Okay. So, we don't, I don't remember offhand what your dexterity was, but that's going to make a huge deal here. It is 11. 11. Good luck. <laughs> that is not All the right. best. Why don't we do the math to see if you can fight it outright. 80 means 9 dice plus 40. You have 8 dice plus 19. Yeah, you have to do the special move. Yeah, I would say that. This could be the end, but let's go for it. Let's see what happens. If you get one good hit, you're probably good. Okay. Let's see. So, saving roll, roll time. At least nine. nine or up. Double the end roll over, of course. Uh, Seven. Uh, you're a squash. Dead. All right. Well, that, that was short. That's the end of the war, but we used all our cheat codes last time. Dwarvo the second. Dwarvo the second. We'll have to wait till uh, next time to run Dwarvo the third through this adventure, or another one, perhaps. Or we could use a non-dwarf. Uh, but sorry, you have you've died, so we're going to... We should do Dwarvo. We never do your portrait, so we'll just have to do this instead. Do, 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 do. That's my over. beautiful artwork. And there's some grass growing here. And here's the moon in the sky. Uh, that could also be the sun, depending on if it's daytime. There, now it's the sun. <laughs> why, are you well, why, are you, why are you laughing at the death of Dwarvo II? Because uh, death is funny in this game. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of it anyway. Oh, ooh, oh, oh. Doge. I mean, Doge. Gosh, Alan. And three. You okay, made I'm it. I'm alive. <laughs> not, erase that. <laughs> wow. So. Good thing I decided to look over your sheet. Because that's it. I'm, first, I'm like, mm, full hell, that's not going to help. I feel, like, I feel like my, com talent, my competitive yes. drinking would have helped more, probably. But. <laughs> All right. So, well, hold on. What did you roll? Seven? Uh, seven oh. plus three. Oh, that's not what you rolled it. Right? That's what I rolled. Oh, that is what you rolled. That's yeah. a six then. That's a six? You oh, still yeah, made six, it. But... So I made it, yeah. Barely. Okay, so let's get the adventure points for the saving roll. Ew. And um, that means you get to do full damage on it now. <clears throat> so I just do my... Oh, what's the attack again? So you have eight dice plus 15 and four, which is 19. So yeah. basically eight dice plus 19. Okay. So let's see, let's see what we rolls. got here. Giant. Not Krantz, Giant. MR. Krantz. AT. 9 dice plus 40. So we have Giant. Uh, I don't think we really need this table. Well, we'll need it for next round. Versus Rob Bob, or aka Dwarvo. Rob Dwarvo, I'm writing now. Okay. Let's see what I roll. So he basically essentially rolled a zero for this round. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll do this math real quick. Ten. Um. Twenty. Twenty-two. So that's thirty-one. No, no, no. Forty-one. All right. You have knocked his MR down to thirty-nine. Unfortunately, the dice part okay. <coughs> But you have reduced his add to uh, 20, which still makes him more dangerous than you. Yeah. Uh, we can think this through. You have eight. He would be. Eight mm, dice plus nine. Nine dice plus He's more likely one. to kill me. So, um, well, I'm, well, let's see. I just, I could just do another round of that. And you probably could, win. but if. Mm, I'd probably be good. So it's not totally clearly written, but I think you could go back and forth with these special moves. Or, um, in other words, I think you could try just regular combat for a I little don't bit. Know. I'd rather. You rather just do the same? Yeah. All right, your call. Yeah. And remember, it's oh yeah, you do have that talent, so yeah, it basically sticks her up. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that bad. And you need um, six or higher. Basically, if you roll three, four, or five without doubles, then you lose. Gonna use my lucky dash. Come on, so dwarf. Come on, dwarf. Was a second. Where was a second? Saved from death yes. a couple times. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, so 11 more adventure points for you. My 11 adventure points. Maybe I could add something to a stat. Sure, we could take a look after we resolve this, I guess. Maybe I'll save up for more Dexter. I could spend it now. I, I always have the belief you can spend it immediately. So I'd if you want to, you can do it. Uh, before you I want to save up for more Dexterity. Something okay, because like you're seeing the value of Dexterity, I guess. Like yeah. last time you saw the value of luck and you pumped that, what, from 8 to 13, was it? Something like that. Alright, so let's roll damage.
Okay. All right. That's a lot of sections. All right. Uh. No, three is good. Ten. Twenty-one, I guess. Twenty-three. Twenty-six. Forty-two. Forty-two, and you only have thirty-nine left, so you have defeated the giant. No matter what. I'm you did, uh, I don't even have to use my ads. Okay, what was the move you did? What do you mean? Well, I'm just like, tell it like a story. What what kind of move did you do to to avoid him? Um, I. Uh. Okay, I, threw, I, threw, I threw my knives at his eye and at his eyes and killed him. Oh, okay, sure. I think the idea was you dodged him. Well, I dodged, and, <laughs> and, and then I ran up onto his back, and then I sliced his eyeballs out. All right. And I was gonna, I, I was gonna say you summer salted between his legs and hit him in his giant parts. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> All, right, All right. So we slain the giant. Uh, wait, I forgot to uh, look at the treasure number. Oh, yeah. Probably like one to five is treasure. Yeah, so I probably get treasure. Also, you get eighty, I guess, adventure points. Yeah. So I roll treasure. You don't get treasure. Never get You're treasure. Just that unlucky. All right. Where so where does the treasure come from? Like their pockets, I guess. That makes sense. Well, at least the giant. The giant might be carrying it. Yeah. I guess. So, I mean, snake. I don't know I don't about know the snake. snake. Like it just drops from the ceiling. I used like, to play a lot of computer role playing games where it would be like you would find giant spiders. It has gold on it, you find a snake, it has gold on its body. You find, you know, anything, it's got gold on it. <laughs> Alright, All right, uh, what are we looking at here? This is the page, but which room was it? Uh, turn uh, over this, this sheet, this map. Okay, 18. we're at 18 with the giant. Okay, which one is room 18? Do, 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 here we go. Uh, <clears throat> yes, you may leave through the east door to 21A, okay. or you may exit the dungeon go to 2A. Okay, was... Or you may look for secret doors. <laughs> so I... Okay, I know this was the first game book ever written, basically, but you know, there's got to be a better way to. Uh... You just say you just say it in like every secret room. Door. Yeah, maybe maybe there are some that are false. But what I would like is something like the magic matrix, which I showed you before. Oh yeah, you showed me. That. So there could be a chart in the back where if you search for a secret door, it will tell you if you're successful or not, or what you have to roll or whatever, okay. or what paragraphs to go there. Anyway. I'll search for a secret door. Secret door, let's do it. There might be traps or something. 21, but... uh, yeah. Or it could just be a red herring and you have to fight another wandering monster. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. There are no secret doors here. Roll one die to see if a wandering monster appears while you're wasting your time looking for a secret door. So it is a waste of time. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Okay, no, no monster. Let's go back to 9A. You want to search again? <laughs> Can we? <laughs> It'll be the same outcome, obviously. <laughs> okay, um... <clears throat> there. Uh, east or uh, exit the dungeon. So it's the dead end. Uh, I don't want to go to the exit, so I have I'm to go east. east, I guess. And then I'll have to go <clears> to <throat> the south. 22A. What time are you Okay. I would like to go south. Uh, you gotta see if I'm wandering monsters here. Alright, oh, I'm wandering. I'll roll. Nothing. Yes. Okay, south? Oh, yes, sir. 26A. The door was fake. There's just a brick wall behind it. I think the baby wants to play. Okay, you have entered room number 11. Alright, that there. You see an evil looking character in leather armor. Because, you know, evil people wear leather, I guess. Um, Is he a goblin? Hmm? Is he a goblin? He, it doesn't say he's a goblin. No. I mean, in the future. Yeah, whatever. In the never future? Mind. In the future of the writing. Never mind. In the writing. Okay, I don't understand you at all, but okay. Uh, he says you must either fight him or pay him one gold piece. He's a cheap date. I mean, a cheap uh, bribe. It's not really that expensive, but I think I could take him on with like eight dice. <laughs> Probably. We don't know. He might have a trick up his sleeve. Yeah. Anyway, so it's your call. I don't even have gold on me. Oh, uh, yeah, you have like 80 something. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I can just. Kill him, kill him. Yeah, kill I'll him. kill him. Kill him. I'll kill him. Because I don't want to, like, come back here. If and you die, though, you don't blame me. It's your, it's your choice ultimately, okay? Uh, <laughs> you no, know, I'm just kidding. 
Kid All right. Hi. Him, him or her. He has a monster rating of 20. Oh, no. If you get hits on him once, he tries to give up and let you pass for free. Okay. Now that raises the question, if you kill him in one hit, is it, is it too late to accept his offer? Probably not. Or probably, I mean, probably too late because he's dead. I guess so, yeah. Alright, so we're going to do Evil Looking Man in Leather. Evil Looking Man. Evil Looking Man. Leather Man. He's made out of leather. That's the brand of my uh, pocket knife, Leather Man. Well. So he has three dice plus ten, and uh, we'll do evil, evil leather man, also known as Elm, versus oh. Rob Bob Corvo. It's a second. Okay, so I think you will destroy him. Let's roll. All right, I have nine. Six. Did you roll? Did you roll eight, eight, eight. six. Do I rolled poorly, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't. This was like on its side just, here. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just re-roll it. Okay, fine. Two. Okay. So math. Math. Ten. So what do we say? Nineteen plus. That's a loan. We'll hurt him. So, in my at, uh, so I get 41. 41 is your I total? That's correct. Alright, I'll go with it. Uh, so, you have slain him. Easy. One Evil Leather Man is dead. So, I guess we're going to the page for if you continue fighting. Evil Pocket Knife. Yeah. If you successfully kill a roll and die and multiply times a hundred to see how many gold pieces you find. I need to be lucky for this. I'm okay. using my gold dice because it's gold. Sure. Four hundred okay. gold. Four hundred. You now have totally four nine uh four eighty nine. Let's see. Did he get any spike? Nope. Okay. Oh yeah, right. Just and so um uh, you get twenty adventure points. You can spend any if you like. Do I have 100? Yeah, you have enough for dexterity. Yeah, sure, I'll upgrade that by one. Okay, so that costs 110, leaving you with... Mm, how much? 98? 98, it's not bad. I can upgrade some charisma, maybe. Uh, how do you upgrade have... your charisma? Just buy makeup. You buy, yes, you buy makeup. Just, I mean, I'll upgrade my speed, actually. Okay, <clears throat> by one? Yeah, by one. So that costs you 70 down to 28. Sometime we'll have to clean this up. Okay. Alright. By the way, it doesn't affect your ads because it's not above 12. Okay. Uh, where the heck were we? We killed the evil man. Alright. You may the leave elf. through the south door or the north door. Wait. <clears throat> you mean exit or? Oh, you mean go to a different one. Right. I'll go south then. <clears throat> South door is 19A. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm not sure if it's what it is. You have traveled down a short corridor and you're at a T intersection. If you wish to go north, go to 26A. South or east. So north, south, or east. Okay, um, east, I guess. To 3A. Oh, I like this one. <clears throat> you walked down a short corridor and entered a small room. There is nothing in the room except a small slot. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. This is actually a new piece of artwork for this paragraph that has existed since 1970-whatever. 76? Anyway, uh, the sign says insert sword here. You may insert your weapon in the slot. Or you may leave by the north door, west, south, or exit the entire dungeon. I like it's very really weird how there's just these random exits that take you out. Yeah, maybe it's like steps up, or I don't know. Yeah, maybe. So well, you're in a whatever. castle. North, whatever. south, and... Uh, what did I say? North, west, or south. Okay. Maybe it's like teleport. I don't know. Teleport. Magic teleport. So, what are you doing? Okay, uh, is there a number for this room? 
Mm, no. Okay. Um, you can write sword room or insert sword slot room or whatever. Uh, I'll just put sword slot. Sure. Um, I'm going to insert my sword. Okay. I remember getting, I remember getting like an enchantment or something. Yeah, I think it's basically a crapshoot. Right. You can get a positive or negative effect. If your weapon was not a dagger or sword of some kind, nothing happens. Uh, I guess we'll go with a butcher knife counting as a dagger. It's a tiny, it's a, it was like a medium dagger. That's right, that's right, it was categorized as medium dagger in the book, in the rule book. Alright, so, if your weapon was a dagger or sword, roll two dice to see what happens to it. Nothing Each sword or dagger may only be inserted once. No, I'll just, hmm? I'll just, I'll just use regular dice. Alright, that matters very much, right? Yes. Yeah. Six or nine, I mean. Nine is. Your sword is now a magic defensive sword. It will take three hits for you every combat turn. Wow. So we're going to write in our handy notes section here Ooh. that this knife uh, is three points of armor. Also, I can do it with my other weapon. That is correct. And we can write this is a magic thing. Take three hits from me. Okay. <clears throat> so you use the other one. Okay, and I'll do the other one. Hopefully it's something good. Insert sword here. Insert dagger for me. Eleven. That sounds... Usually they put the extreme stuff on either the low end or the high end. So we'll see what happens. Your sword is now a singing sword. I remember this one last. Every combat turn after combat... Uh, I guess I mean after each combat turn. Okay. Roll one die. If you roll a six, the sound just scares away one monster. Oh, that could be real. All right, that sounds game breaking almost. <laughs> well, like if it's a, like like uh, I know there's a wizard at the end. So if it's like the wizard, would you just win? I don't know. Um, probably if I were running a GM game, I would say that certain like boss yeah. types are immune to it, but. Uh, with solos, I don't know. We just had to wing it. I would say that it really shouldn't count for them. Well, you're very fair. You should be like, it counts for everything. Alright, so let me put this down for a second. Sorry. Combat round one enemy flees on a roll of six on a 1d6. <clears throat> okay. This is room number 7, by the way. It says at the bottom. Oh, so this is room number 7? Yes. Okay. After you roll once, for each dagger or sword, return to 3a. Okay, you would like to go south, you said? Uh, yeah, I think that's room 4, if my map is correct. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if my math is like off scale or something. Alright, well, 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 yeah, it could be. Aha! This is the troll who gave you trouble before. This guy. Yeah, it is. We cheated and backtracked. Oh, you walked down a short corridor and entered a small room. Ten feet by ten feet. There is a troll sitting on a treasure chest. He is looking at you in a bored fashion. I did it. You cannot play a game with dice with children at a table without hearing that sound of dice clattering. Yes. <laughs> to the ground. Anyway, uh, you can fight him. I don't remember. Mm, I'm trying to remember if we encountered him before or if we... Um, yeah, we've encountered him before. Sure, but we kind of undid it because we cheated. Yeah, I didn't like this guy. Alright, so, but I mean, you're a lot stronger now that we have your warrior effect. <clears throat> so you could probably fight him. But you can also talk to him or walk by him. I'll talk to him. Talk to him. Okay, please draw the connection. Yeah. You should probably write something in room four. There, it's up to you. I'll do. Uh, was he a troll or dumb? He's a troll. Yeah. And he's yawning. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna uh, talk to him. I would remember when you talk to things. Usually, you use charisma rolls. Yes. Your charisma is seven. Really but he'll good. probably just try to kill you. Which is fine, in my opinion. He's a lovely Scorpio while we're waiting. Okay. Uh, what are we doing then? I don't know. Are you definitely talking? Yeah, I'm talking. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, we're going to pause for a minute and we'll start again in a second. Okay, so what you have to do is add your charisma and your luck. Roll two dice, double and roll over, and add that to the total. If the combined total is over 36, he gives you a jewel worth 300 gold and you may continue. Okay. So I always wondered why they didn't just make this a saving roll, but you know, it was an early game, so maybe he thought this is the way to make a roll that involves both your charisma and your luck. Nowadays they would probably say average the two, and that's your saving roll. But the 36 is kind of random. Anyway, I'll stop taking it apart, and let's just do it. So your charisma and luck are not super high. 7 and 13, so that's 20, meaning you need a 16 or a higher, essentially. Let's talk. Maybe we'll get the good roll. Hold on. Your lucky dice. Here I'm they go. This needs to be a good roll. All right. Ah, good okay. roll, but not good enough. So this is technically not a saving roll. It's just a thing to tell you to do. But let's just take the ten adventure points. I think that's fair. Okay, so you failed. He would have given you a jewel worth 300 gold, but you did not roll over 36. So he attacks, actually, so you needed, you needed a 17, not a 16. It says over 36, not equal to or over. I'm just being picky again. So anyway, he attacks you immediately, go to 7A. He has a monster rating of 40. Yes. Here we have, next to Evil Weatherman, Ford, Troll, MR40, 5 dice, plus 20, and uh, we have Troll, Rob, let's roll, 2, 3, 4, 5, please stop doing that, jeez. Mm -hmm. What we got for the troll? Got a whole lot of threes. 9, 12, 14. Plus 20 is 34. I think you have this guy. No spite. We have a crying baby situation. 10, 20, 25, 44. 25 plus 19. 44 sounds good to me. So I have inflicted 10 damage, which knocks it add down to 15. Yes, my um, what are oh. my enchants? Or whatever, uh, yeah, you can roll one die to see if your singing sword sings badly enough to make him run away. What's my other thing? Oh, it's a defense, right? Yes, all right. Uh, sure, well, do mm. it. does it say I have a choice? I'll just, I'll just treat it like you kill it, so I might as well do it. No. No. Just keep rolling. Okay. You can't keep rolling. Okay, next round, he's weaker. He's got 15 as now instead of 20. Should be simple enough. He did not get spiked. That's 9. 13. 15, 18. Plus 33. 20, 24. You rolled 24? Which is 43. Yes. That's correct. 10 damage. Again. Exactly. Now he has 10 adds. And a roll for the singing sword. La la la. La la la. Not scary enough. My sword is so scary. Next round. Roll, roll, ten, one by two. Sorry about that. Fifteen, nineteen, plus plus ten is twenty-nine. What does Rob Bob roll? Dwarvo. Twenty. The second. Twenty-six. So forty-five. Twenty plus nineteen equals forty-five. You do a whopping sixteen damage, and he has four MR four. Two ads now, he, but you take one spike damage, ouchie, yes. which would, which is not blocked by this thing. Yes, the spike yes. always gets through. 
So you have 14 constitution left. And um, let's roll. You should beat him this time. Let's roll. So you only have two heads. I did not did two spite though before going down. Mm -hmm. well, and twenty plus two is twenty two and one spite. Can guarantee that I'll beat him, I think. Let's just do the spike here. Well, I can roll for did I roll mm -hmm. for did I roll for my sword last turn? I don't think so. Let me do that first. Six. No. Nope. Oh, okay. So uh, he ran away. We'll treat so, like he killed. No him. spite, I guess. No spite then, yes. Alright. So 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 so. Uh, where to go? Yes, kill him. Go to seventeen, eh? All right. So you get forty MR for that one. Uh, forty adventure points for that one. And you get the jewel worth three hundred gold in the treasure chest. Yes. <clears throat> He's no longer bored. He's dead. Okay. You also have a bracelet worth 500. I don't even remember where you got that from. Oh, maybe that was from the chest. Oh, Hold on, we gotta go again for a minute. Be right back again. Um, you can go north or west. Oh, yeah, north or west. Uh, We're actually low on time once again. We may have to make up part three of this. Alright, um, I guess we'll go north to the sword place. Oh, you go. You actually have a west door here that you didn't. Oh, there's a west one. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, you could go north and west, or you could go west here. I guess I'll go west then. Okay, 13A. What do we find here? You've entered room number 17. There is a wandering monster in this room. Maybe another giant. Oh. Alright, rolling again. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Alright, five. That's a five. snake? No, no, no. I should have turned to the table. I'm stupid. Um, one second. I think that was a snake. <clears throat> might be wrong. Five is an ogre MR20. Orange. It's an orge. If it rolls three sixes during combat, you're taking three spikes for one thing, but also it knocks you down, and for the next combat round, the damage you inflict is halved. Okay. Because he's so strong and bad with his MR20. Oh no, that's like three dice. That is three dice, right? That's three dice. Yes. Ogre. MR20. Three dice. There goes more dice again. Because like I said, kids these days. No, it's not just kids these days. When I was a kid, I think I did that too. I know my friends used to do that. Okay, well, I'm not going to this anymore. Okay. I'm going to stack, stacking them on top of each so, other. So, let's try Ogre versus Dwarvo. Boop, 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 boop. Let's roll. Alright. Uh, okay, he got a spite on you. Okay, two spites. No, no, no. So twenty nine, I think. Yeah. So yeah. that in total is forty eight. That's the highest. And you have you have destroyed it, but you take one spike. Okay. Get rid of one constitution. Okay, let's take our adventure points of 20, 98, you're at, and treasure on a roll of 1, 2, or 3. 1, 2, or 3. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, like the, that's the third six in a row, treasure. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, where are you? 17? Um, sure. You didn't write 17. Sorry. Which doors are <clears throat> If you kill him, you may leave, leave by the north door, east door, or you may exit the entire dungeon. Alright, another exit, but I will not go to that exit. 
I am going north. North to 19A. You have traveled down a short corridor and you are at a T intersection. You can go north, south, or east. Okay, um, I'll go east. I have a feeling this is to the sword slot. Mm, I can guarantee because I remember, remember it being 3A. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go anywhere? Or... Oh, was it? Th oh, where does it go? Where go? It goes north to 26A, south to 13A, or east to 3A. Yeah, so it's definitely the sword slot. Alright, then I'm going north. Okay. 26A. Time is it. Okay, we gotta wrap up in like three minutes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Probably do this. Three, what? Probably do this for not least. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, this is the evil looking man. Uh, which... And you're in room 11, so. <laughs> uh, right. so how did, well, let, me, let me look at the map they included to see how that lines up. Oh, oh, here. Let me see. Okay, this is. Uh, okay, I. See, this is a, this T intersection. Okay, we have to redraw this map essentially. See this T intersection? That is the same as this one, basically. Uh, Except we connected it wrong before, I guess. So just cross that one, however, basically. Anyway, the evil looking man is not here because you killed him already. Hold on, you're missing the correct one. Huh. No, this is the T intersection. Yes. And. You went north, right? If I would go to north, that would be room 11? Yes. So this means that this should be connected to here. Sure, whatever you're doing. As long as it makes sense to you. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, I guess we just... Where else can I go? Um, do you want to backtrack? Or, or let me, let me, uh, we don't fight him again. We'll just, we'll just go through the, the motions because it doesn't really tell you the exits at this point. So I want to go north to that T section, or not T, uh, four way intersection here. Okay. Why do you want to do that? Uh, I want to try to get to a new door. Okay, fine, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so let's say we fight and kill them again, sort of, just to uh, pass through. Oh, well, he's not there anymore. No, he's not there. Yeah. <clears throat> it's me. Okay, north or south? Um, north, right? What? You said you wanted to go here. Yeah, I'm so here. That's north. Right? So I'm in room 11. I want to go north. Okay. 22A. Uh, I can't grab these pages very well. Okay, four-way intersection. Roll for wandering monster. If you fight one, we'll probably have to wrap it there. Yep. Oh, you got one. Okay. So let's do it. Um, do one last fight, and then I think that's it. Yep. Until part three. Until part three. Which might be coming out in like two weeks. The funny thing is, guarantee. for part one, I wrote um part one of two because I figured there was no way it would be there would be a third part. Well, apparently we were wrong. I was wrong. Roll two. Nice. Okay. Three. Ooh, that Blood bats. Okay. That could be nasty. Roll one die to see how many bats. Okay. If you roll a one, roll the die again and add one. Ooh. Two. 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 That's, That's like, the lowest I could get. Yes, that is. That's a good good roll. You should yeah. totally own these guys. Okay. I'm gonna try to go for one at a time and hope my sword scares away the other. <laughs> Okay, we got blood fat one, blood rat two. They have MR ten. In, in total? No, each two. Okay, each. Alright. So we'll write the BBs versus the Bob Bobs. I might be able to I can just take this guy out with any... Yeah, take him out. Okay. Um, Alright. I'm gonna roll for hit them. Yeah. You roll for yourself. I'm not sure if I can take these guys out with only eight you, you dice. Yeah, fight. Yes, wait. Okay. Anyway, uh, 14, 14, and ooh. All right, I got a forty-four. Fourteen and twelve plus five. 
17. So you actually got three spine on you, and their total is 31. What was your total? Mine was 44. 44? Yeah. That was, that's a lot for them. Yeah, I rolled a lot of sixes. <laughs> um, okay, so you do 13, meaning you kill. Uh, do you want to apply uh, 10 to one and then Yeah. Th three to the other? Uh, yeah, sure. I actually don't remember if there's a hard rule for how you're supposed to do that. Like, are you supposed to divide it? But we'll just play it like this. You can you can kill one off. Okay, so one is, uh, bat one is dead, and bat two has taken three damage. I should look that up, because I, I pride myself on knowing the rules pretty well. <laughs> okay, so he's at seven now. Yeah. And I'll use my sword oh. to see if it scares uh, it away. Sure, fine. Does not scare it away. All right, so this should be taken now. Just a matter of do you take any more spikes. Okay. You are down to ten, Khan. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's do it. One, uh, two dice plus four. Because they're weaker. No spikes this time. All right. I'll pretty much instantly kill them. Um, say ten. Yeah, that's true. Say two sixes, so follow me. Do this in an easier way. No. Okay, you, you, you killed it. You killed it, whatever. Alright, so let's take 20 adventure point. And one, two, or three is treasure. Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay, I had drinking water. I found treasure. How do we do this now? Uh, Roll on the treasure generation table. Wait. All right. Uh, I have that on the screen here. So what you find is two dice. Okay. And I must roll them? You must roll them, yes. You don't sit on them. I mean, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> I would think I would sit on them, but all right. Nine. Oh, nine. That, seems that is coins. Okay. There's not too many variety in this. Treasure regenerator, but that's okay. Coin Coins, gems. roll one die to see what kind. Okay, let's hope it's gold. Three. That is silver. Mm, Alright, that'd be worse. And now roll three dice times ten. That's the number of coins. That's a lot of coins. <coughs> yeah. Potential to be a lot of coins. It does. Okay, uh. Nine, or, yeah, 900 coins. Wow. <laughs> No, it said times 10, not the times 100. Oh, okay. I'll say 10. 90 silver. Oh, okay. All right, let's wrap it up. Uh, we are at 22A. And that's it. If it was bronze, I'd probably just kind of throw it out. Well, I mean, I keep it, I guess. But if I was out of space, or if I was, wasn't strong enough to carry it all, then I would have to get rid of that. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching, okay. folks. Until part three. Possibly, probably not part four. Well, that's, that's what we thought about part three. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, until next time. All right. This is Mark W. See you later. Bye, Rob. Bye, Rob. Bye, Rob.